And welcome Boardroom Gamers. It's Solo Play Monday. I'm Jeff Anderson. And today we're going to be rolling some dice with Dice Settlers. Now, funny enough, this game was the first, I believe it was the, oh no, I thought it was the first game that I did solo. But the first game I did solo was Hostage Negotiator. And then the second game I did solo was Dice Settlers. So we're going to try this again with better cameras, better angle, better sound. Um, look to my sound guy here. Am I creeping up to the yellow on the microphone? Right up to the... Nice. Exactly where I want to be. So we have a new producer. Troy is producing tonight. <laughs> um, so I don't know what's in store for me or you. So it should be fun. He said he's got a lot of fun stuff to share. <laughs> so I can't wait for you guys to experience it because I don't get to see the screen. Um, so make sure make sure you're reading the, uh, the comments to me or questions, oh, chats, yeah. etc. Uh, go ahead and engage yeah. with them by typing in the so, chat box. Uh, Who do we have in there? Kiwi Koi and Rex talking back and forth. Kiwi Koi, Rex, how are you so guys? If something, yes, if something fails, you can blame me. <laughs> this is my fault. <laughs> We're looking for blame in all the right places. <laughs> so here's the deal. This is the, the uh, solo version is against the Dyson Air. You guys should be able to see the Dyson Air's play area here. Um, the first thing we have to do is we get a starting tile, a starting hex, if you will. I get the first one, and it's going to be this one, which raises my dice quota. I'm, I'm excited about that from three dice to four dice. Um, so that comes into play. I take one of mine from the reserve, my tent from the reserve, and I place it on here. I own this, I own this land. The dice in here gets the next one, and theirs, they just get to claim this. They don't get the ability. So. Um, they're going to be blue tonight, so hopefully you guys can see the red and the blue tents. Uh, and that's how the game will begin. At the start of the turn, first thing we do, we got to put these dice into my dice bag here. Shake them up. Now the dice in here, their starts randomly, so I guess this is as random as random can be. And you notice there's some numbers here at the bottom. If they have one to four dice in their dice pool they get to roll all of them if they have five to eight dice in their dice pool they only get to roll four and if they have nine to ten dice in their dice pool they get to roll five of them if they have 11 more dice in this queue they're going to roll six of them now they can never roll more than what i have in my dice queue so i'm going to move this up can you guys can can they see yep i just popped into view great so i'm going to put it there and uh, i'm at four um so they can never roll more than one plus my dice cube. That's just a thing. Uh, as the game progresses, I'm gonna be placing hexes and placing tents for, um, for ownership. So you can either have presence. So right now we have presence and we have, um, man, what do they call it in this game? When you have dominance is the lack of a better word, where I have more than you, so I dominate and am present. And if they have more than me, they dominate and they have presence. That's really gonna bug me. So I'm going to find out the actual term. <laughs> Looked it up so many times and now I can't remember. It is control. So he who dominates controls anyway, so whatever. We don't need the starter tiles anymore. Going to roll, start my uh, start my turn. Nice. Get four dice here, one, two, three, four. All that come up. Yeah. I know that lantern's kind of hard to see in the screen, but that's what I got. So I'll put them up here too. I've got one research, one explore, one pioneer, and one um, settle. So I probably want to use my pioneer here to um, to change some things. Spend one pioneer. So I'm going to spend this pioneer to re-roll up to three dice. I'm going to re-roll just, just the... Oh! Shoot, I have to flip over all of these. Oh yeah. These are the technology cards. So the first one, I'll put it over here. Wanderlust, plus one pioneer every roll. Actually, I'm gonna keep that research icon now. <laughs> Missionaries, pioneer icons can be used as research icons. Nice. This one is production lines. Uh, whenever I activate a factory that produces resources, take an additional resource of the same type. That one's tough. It takes t rolling two research icons, and I have to be on a plains, a forest, or a mountain. 
Well, I guess I have a plains here. There's a mountain here. Might not be that tough. Uh, this one's tough. Let me pull it a little bit. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. Four research icons. I can be on any land, but at the end of the game, take one extra round. Ah, yes. All right. This one here, Manifest Destiny. Mm -hmm. Three research icons. I don't have to be on a specific tile, though. If you notice the hexes there are blank. Um, I also need to spend, though, one lumber, one iron, and one pumpkin. And then I can get this power, which is once per round, gain two pioneer icons. City walls, two research icons, and I got to spend an iron. And I get uh, when I are, when I'm attacked, then I can ignore two raid icons. Well, here's the deal: uh, they might not attack me much this game, so that might not come in too handy for me. Um, but they might. Who knows? They are a Dyson ear. So cast iron, two research icons. I have to be on a mountain once per round. Spend one iron to gain three settle icons. That's really good. You will see. You will all see how good that is. Land grab. One icon, and it's uh, one iron. Research. Explore, I or, I'm sorry, research. Explore icons can be used as settle icons. And last but not last. Oh, greater stability. Increase my dice quota by one. So let me give you guys the breakdown real quick. This lantern right here that I rolled, I could use it right now to put my token on greater stability. I can use it to put it on Wanderlust to get plus one Pioneer. Um, so that's really, really, that's great. Um, so I'm gonna keep it. What am I gonna do with this Pioneer though? Oh, I can save my Pioneer in my active area, which is right below my dice here. And I can use them next turn. Oh, nice. So I'm just gonna go with this. I get to take, oh, does, does he roll now too? I think he rolls now too. We all roll at the same time. That does happen. So let me roll for this guy. You will not see one of these dice because it's straight up green. But it's a log. Well, you can see the log at least. Yeah, it's the icon. It's just like a log floating in space. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a log. All right. So he got triple re uh, triple explore and a log. So what happens is you're not gonna see oops, you're not gonna see some of this in the uh, Dyson Air Cam because you got triple of one, which is so rare. I've never had that actually. The log produces the resource itself. Um, if there's no resources here, it goes there. If there are resources, it'll start to fill up the area around. So this goes back to the back of the line in, any, in a random order, which doesn't get any random than just that. Uh, let's see here, how's that need to turn? Perfect, okay. So yeah, it's super rare that I, I rolled triples. Um, other than that, that's what we got. You see a weird triangle on the screen, is that gone? Yeah, I got it. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've had triangles attacking the table. Um, and so I couldn't really get rid of my triangle. Uh, I, I, I lost my triangle swatter. And that's kind of what's been happening. So that's what we do. We take that and now we take our actions. <laughs> I'm going to just kind of go to that action phase. That was the roll phase. Action phase. Starting with the first player and going clockwise, each player must take a turn to perform one main action if able. Um, in the rare case that a player cannot, they skip their turn. Um... Then, following the same order, first to last player, they take a second action. So these are my dice with which I get to take actions. But I can only save one, and I'm saving the Pioneer. Maybe I want to save... I gotta really think about this a second. I'm going to ditch my Pioneer. I'm gonna save this... I'm gonna save the Settle. I know I'm so, like, undecided, but I lost last time. <laughs> so darn it. I'm going to... Uh... Put my houses up here so you guys can see those. All right, I'm gonna save my settle. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna research. So I spend this research to place one of my research tokens onto this greater stability, which gives me plus one dice quota. So now I can roll five dice per round. Then 
it's his turn. I do have to roll this die. So I'm gonna roll this die, but here's what's gonna happen. Go ahead and leave it on this, because there, you can't see. This thing here, no, no, on the big board. Because this thing here, if I roll a three, it's gonna go one, two, three. It only stops where there is stuff. <laughs> Get it? Right. Oh, gotcha. So it went one, okay, it went all the way around one. He's gonna take a strength three <laughs> explore action. Now, what's funny about... Uh... <laughs> this triangle's be attacking. <laughs> um, hey, thanks for the bits. Kiwi Koi Original, coming in with the bits. <laughs> Appreciate that. Um, always loving the bits. I love the bits to bits. <laughs> um, when the Dysoneer takes his turn, he's going to get... Oh, we forgot to get... Victory points, let's do it right now. 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 5 equals 30. This is our pool when that runs out, game ends. Okay. When they take their explore action, um, score 1 VP. They only take, uh, everybody uses 1 strength when exploring. Score 1 VP for any remaining strength. So here's the deal. They have a three strength explore action because they, they rolled it three times. They get a normal player would get to draw three tiles from the stack and pick their favorite. Um, the Dysoneer only picks one and gets two victory points for the remaining dice. So he takes this tile here and he has to place it adjacent to two other tiles. He would like to place it farther away, but he can't. Um, he starts the game with three of these also. Can't cheat the dice in here. here. Um, but this comes from the supply. He gets a tile, or a house, a tent. Anytime a hex is placed next to a hex that I have a tent, I can place a free tent to try to say, hey, what's going on over here? But they can then respond with one and only one, saying, hey, wait, 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 what are you doing? Get away. Now, why they want to do that is this has points of nine and five. If you control it, you have nine. If you're second place, you have five points at the end of the game. So that's why he's fighting for control of that tile. And I actually might want to really fight him for that. Perviac. Perviac. Just subscribe. Thanks, man. Thanks for the sub, Perviac. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Zero shift. Yeah. Coming in hot. All right. Oh, wow. So that was my, my first action, their first action. My second action will be to explore as well, spending this die. Um, explore, with strength one, I only get to draw the top tile and it's gonna be this one. Oh, nice. It, and I'm going to put it, I'm gonna put it here. And this tile raises my dice quota. So I get a tent. Yay! The Dysoneer always follows with the guy. So I'm going to, hmm, I'm gonna come in with the guy. And that allows me to raise my dice quarter. Now I roll six dice. <clears throat> but I only have five in my bag. How do you get six? I'm so glad you asked. Um, one of the actions called Recruit. It, it's a little icon with a shake of hands looking thing that allows me to buy extra dice. All right. Um, so that's my turn. This gets discarded because I saved this one flamey. His second action, he doesn't have a second action. Um, he only had the one action. These get discarded. And away we go to the next turn. I have one die in my bag. And I have these three that are going to go in my bag and get rolled. So I don't have really enough dice. I should probably recruit here soon. So I'm rolling green dice all over the place. It's kind of a hot mess. Uh, but I did get a recruit icon where he's yeah, shaking hands. See the icon. That's what, that's what matters. So this is my die pool. Um, he only rolls four. It's going to be the same kind of a... Same kind of a thing. Okay, this is going to be much better. Nice. Much better. One goes here. One goes here. Um, I think i got to move this back down because we can't confuse it here. I forgot what happens with the Pioneer. So 
I better read that. When he rolls a pioneer. Um. Oh, for each die showing a pioneer icon, place that die at the action with the least number of dice plus resources clockwise of the action marker. So it's going to go here. Okay. Now what's going to happen is uh, I roll. Well, he's it's his turn to go first. Mm -hmm. So I roll this. And it's a three. three. So check it out. One, two, three. That's what he chooses to do. That's how that's supposed to work. <laughs> nice. Simple. So he's going to settle. He's going to spend this die. Goes to the back of the line. Settling takes one cube. And they choose to play this cube on a hex that they don't already have a color. So he doesn't have one on yellow. He puts it on yellow. That's plain and simple. If he had one there and he has one here, he would most likely... Um, put it here because he gets close to dominating that and getting that nine points away from me. Mm -hmm. So that's that. My action, am I, am I re-rolling any with this? Um, am I re-rolling any with this? That's the good question. I. Yeah, no. No, I'm not. Boy, this is almost a waste. Should I just let fate decide? Nope, I'm not re-rolling any with this. I'll save it till next round. I have a plan. These are my active dice. I only get to take two actions. My first one's going to be explore. With only one strength, I only get to draw one tile from the explore tile pack. It worked out. I can now put this tile here. And I can put a house there. Yay! No, he cannot because he has no more in his reserve. Mm. Take that. Part one was worth it of my plan. Now we got to roll for him again. Let's just roll it uh, over there. Look at that, huh? One. It goes here. He recruits. No. That's trade, not recruit. Oh. Oh, well. I have another plan. He's going to recruit a die. So what happens is when you recruit a die, he spends this one to get a die of any color from this. Of any color that he doesn't already have that he's actually present. So he's on green, a gray, so he's gonna buy a gray die. That was what I was hoping to do was buy an orange die. However, not to be feared or whatever. I'm going to use my flamey token here. For each one of these spent, I can gain one tent from here to my personal supply. I'm gonna need tents. This game's gonna get real tents. Mm -hmm. All right, we each took two actions. Um, he doesn't place these dice back. They stay there until he takes that action so they could get stronger. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, not nice. Right. Okay. Um, which of these am I keeping? I'm going to keep yellow. No. Uh, I'm going to keep uh, Pioneer. Pioneer. Um, put these back in my bag. You know, I'm not going to keep any. I'm going to roll all five of my six dice that I'm allowed to roll. <laughs> All right, again here. Okay, there's some stuff I can do with this. Nice. So we're gonna set this here. He's gonna roll four dice. Good, he got the raid icon. He can't raid me. He doesn't have any tents to raid with. Nice. So raiding in this game, you basically take your, te your tents and replace your opponent's tents with them. All right, so in this particular case, he rolled a hat. It goes to the, so these all have one, so it's gonna go here, like that. 
my action first. Um, well, the first question is, do I want to reroll? This is the recruit where I get more dice, so I don't want to reroll that. Um, I thought for some reason the pioneer hats also let me use two pioneer hats of any icon. Yes, it does. I knew it did. Okay. So that with trade. Man, I really want to reroll this trade and this. Hmm. Huh. This is tough. This is tough. I think I just gotta I just gotta buck up a little camper. <laughs> I'm gonna recruit first. So I'm gonna oh I know what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna recruit one die. Orange. Nice. Goes into my dice pool. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. His first thing is four. So we go around the wheel. You do not count this. One, two, three, four. I mean, I'd count it if I got to right six, but. So he's going to trade and he has one thing to trade for one victory point. Oh, by the way, he has two more victory points from that last turn because he had a strength three when he explored and they only explore one tile. So that gets rid of this die. And then uh, my turn, my second action is going to be explore with a strength of two. I can use two pioneer icons with any one other thing. So I'm going to explore two, which means I get to look at two tiles. Pick one. And discard the other. So I'm doing that. Placing a house here. Cannot follow that action because he doesn't have a guy. And I'll save. No, I don't want to save. Yeah, save the trade for next turn. He's going to take the one, two. He's going to take. The, oh man, this guy's killing me. Recruit action. He's buying a die. So he has a green, yellow, and a gray. He now takes a die of what's there the least amount or is it the least yeah the least or most better double check ladies and gentlemen uh recruit a color the bot has access to but has least of rarest color available in the supply he's gonna steal another gray from me basically me Oh, they're just making fun of me? Okay, no, I get no, it. I was just talking about the, uh, the gifts. Got it. All right. <laughs> the gifts that keep on giving. See what I did there with the gifts? You guys are too funny. <laughs> um, man, you're throwing me off. What do I do? It's a new round. Dysonier goes first. He's rolling. Focus. He gets iron, wood, and a pioneer hat. So we'll deal with that in a minute. I get. I'm just rolling five dice. Okay. That's an easy answer. During the roll phase is when you use pioneer dice to re roll dice. So I'm going to. Um, Use the Pioneer to re-roll one Explore and uh, these two trades. It worked a little bit. I got another Explore, but I got a Gold. Now, Gold can be used as any resource. So I'll probably end up using that die. Um, but it's the Dysoneer's turn first, so we gotta line these up. First thing that happens is um, Pioneer Die goes here and he gains a wood. Then a gold goes here. It acts as a placeholder for a die. I need to go back. Okay. He's going to take one, 
to. He's going to take the research action. Now, when they research, this is a pretty crazy set of rules for research. Um, select the card with the highest VP they can currently afford. Um, wood. Uh, this one's one. They can afford this one with wood. Or, oh, this one's two. They can No, they can't afford this. They don't have iron. So it's going to be that one. So they're going to research with this die. They're taking their player marker here. They have to spend the lumber. I'm getting one victory point for that. Um, I don't know if that came from the, I don't think that comes from the pile. Let me see real quick. No, it does not come from the pile. That gets added to your score at the end of the game. They don't ever get to use the abilities on the on the research cards, though, so I'm glad for that. That's good. Um, myself, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest, which is take a pumpkin and a gold. So I have a pumpkin and a gold. Their second action is going to be... They got a two, one, two. They got a trade action. But they don't have any goods to trade, so they get one victory point because it was strength one. They just they bleed this thing dry. Um, so see how their dice will start to cycle mm -hmm. eventually. I'm going to use these two to explore. Hmm. Nice. I'm going to explore, but not be able to settle. How crazy is that? Okay. Uh, oh, I got to pick two. Rear one, four, oh, and add a one. Wait, what does that one do? All the all the tiles do something different, and they have a list at the back of the book of what they do. Gain a dive any color you already have access to. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna place it here because I don't want him sprawling to me. Yeah, plenty of room. Okay. Cool. Want it here. Okay. So that's my second action. He took his second action, so we're going to start next round. I'm going to toss this too. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's all six dice. Yes, that's what I needed a lot of. Okay, the yellow die, just gotta check some of the sides on it. Okay. First thing I'm gonna do is spend my Pioneer to re-roll during the re-roll phase. So this isn't an action. I'm gonna re-roll this Lantern and uh, Recruit, or Lantern and Trade. That's what I wanted, it was a flame. Because that's how I get more access to more tents. And then I get those tents, I put them on the board. Because here's what's going to happen. Well, I have to resolve this. So never mind that. It'll happen. Eventually. This guy loves to explore. So we're going to pack these in because I have to. Put this here because I have to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a strong raid action, but he doesn't have any guys to raid me with. Okay, but I'm first. So I get to explore with a strength of three. Each one of these lets me either take one from the general supply and get access to it, my personal supply. So I'll spend one to do that. I can spend one to um, place one tent from my personal supply onto or adjacent to, so like that. So now once I play that, I get to get a color. That this ability is I get a die of any color that I can control. I control this brown one, I'm gonna take it. And then my third one here, let me think about this. Oh, I don't have any tents. This third one is get a tent from the supply. So that was my first action. His first action is going to be a two. 
One, two. He's going to buy another die. Guess what? It's going to be gray. Those gray dice. Because it's the one with the least left. He like has FOMO, basically. Mm -hmm. Even though he could get a green and yellow, there's plenty of them left, so he doesn't care. He cares about the one that's running out. Um, so that's his turn. My turn. Do I harvest this gold? And it's so, so helpful later on, especially when I want to buy these technologies. Or, hmm, do I recruit another die? I think I recruit another, um, I think I recruit another die. And it should be, shouldn't be orange, it should be yellow. There's lots of pumpkins on yellow. Brown has gold, so does yellow. I mean, so does orange. Sorry, just naming colors now. Green has double lumber, double fire. Man, this is tough. You guys have any idea which... I can have any color but gray. Oh, man. Um... If I don't have tents, I can't, like, dominate out here. I should probably get something with more flame, huh? And that's going to be green. Let's do it. Yeah, you don't want to have tents here. Buying a green. Luckily, I'm starving him for tents, but... That says pink? <laughs> I'll buy the pink. All right, his second action. One, he's exploring with the strength three action. So he's going to pull one tile and gain two victory points for the other. Five, yeah. So he wants it as far away from me as possible. So he wants, again, he wants as far away from me as possible. Um, but he can't settle it, so I'm not too worried about that. And I can settle it on my turn. Uh, so that's all he's got. That's it. Well, I mean, he's got victory points and I don't. So that needs to change. I, by, how, by the way, I get victory points if I sell these off. That's how I get victory points during the game. Okay. Or... If I got a trade icon, I can start to clear out my white dice, discard them to the box for three victory points each. Oh. Um, so I have saved my gold, put all these back in the bag, and the Dysoneer's turn to go first this time. He has, by the way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dice. So he's gonna roll, oh, still only roll four. Whew, it's right at the limit. I don't know if you can see that still. He had to kind of move things a little bit, but. Oh, boy Hardy. Got this, another raid, and then a research and a recruit. I get six dice. It should be all of these. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'm gonna put them all back because I can't cheat. I just didn't know how many I had in there. I get to roll all but one. So I'll just hold one back in the bag. See what I get here. Actually, go ahead and turn that around so I can see the. Oh no, dice down. See the questions, comments, pink. Look at all that flame. Oh yeah. Flame. Okay, I don't want to re-roll a thing. I don't think. Nope. Oh, I can't reroll a thing. I don't have a pioneer. So there's that. By the way, I could spend a resource like this lumber to set one die on any site on any face. Oh wow. So let me think about that. There's a gold on this, but man, I really like these three settles. What about this side? What do you have? More lumber, more lumber. Man, I could put it on another settle. If 
if I don't need to recruit a die. Hmm. I need to do this. I need to set it to a different face, that's for sure. Okay, let's, you know what? No, I, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave it and I'll show you why. So let's get, oh, I already did his. He goes first, right? Mm -hmm. Three, one. Oh, so this is different now, check this out. One, two, three. Oh. Once they start having more, that's how it like forces them to take these actions and get these dice back. Gotcha. So this moves here. He's gonna take a strength three raid action. And here's what happens. If he doesn't have the things, um, uh, where's his raid action? Um, what if he doesn't have, oh, if he runs out of tents or has none to start with, it stops raiding and scores one VP um, per remaining strength. So oh, he's just raiding the... Wow. That is rough. Okay. But that's okay. I'm going to take this settle action three times. Sweet. First one. Gain a house to my supply. Second one. I do have access to gray. Why wasn't I buying those? Place it here. Third one. Place it here. Now, whenever I have three tenths more than an opponent, immediately I may replace them with a house. This five victory points at the end of the game is mine. There is no points for second place. He'll never get here. Nice. So there's that. Um, so that was my, yeah, that was my first action. His second action is a two, one, two. He's gonna settle. Okay, this was this is awful. It's like five or something. If he has no houses or no tents, it's a lot. Might be three. No, uh, tents. If he has zero tents, but has some strength, one strength, he takes three tents. But I'm glad he's been starved for tents up until this point though, because it's been super duper helpful. Yeah. yeah okay. Definitely got the board. Uh, so that's his, uh, but look what he's rolling next turn. Three gray and a yellow. I'm going to go ahead and harvest. I get a gold and a lumber. We've got a nice supply of goods here mm -hmm. that I'm going to unleash eventually. I'm going to keep this recruit die and discard all these. So it's the next round. I draw one and then I get to draw, put these back in the bag and draw five more. Thanks for popping in tonight, guys. I do appreciate it. Just uh, getting some more things worked out as always. Mm -hmm. Four, five, one more. Six. Surprise. Pumpkin lanterns, couple of pioneer hats, etc., etc. Lots of dice to deal with. So they will be dealt with. Taco? <laughs> uh, no tacos. <laughs> the dice in here. I almost wonder if we shouldn't have uh, just straight up left it on flash tonight. Hey, right click, uh, right click that camera on, uh, yeah. Go to properties and nope, cancel, cancel, cancel. Go to the camera itself, which is so red cam. I'm um, a, uh, nope, yes, uh huh. Now find the red cam on the right hand side. And turn off the, uh, oh, no, no, cancel. You have to right click it. That, oh, gotcha. Right click it, filters. 
Nope. Turn off the eyeball. Then I just... Let's do it. Everything in this game is stinking green. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Everything's getting green. So let's do it. Look, see? You see it all now. Flames and iron and... Yep. I'm good. I'm glad for that. But yeah, because of this, so we'll just have to uh, right click this or turn the eyeball off on this cam. Yep. So I'll roll. We'll do that. We'll just do it that way. Just for this game, like so much is green. Is that funny? Yeah. Green and yellow. Uh, he generated two iron and a this, so he's gonna put one iron in the kitty, and this one uh, goes here. Oh no, uh, he generates two iron. One goes there, one goes here, and then these go here. Uh, yeah. So what do I want to do with this? I've got a recruit. I've got a recruit action. I do get three victory points for every two dice I own at the end of the game, by the way. That's good. Um, pioneer rolls three. Or I, during the action phase, I can use two pioneers as any one icon to enhance the strength of an action. I'm good on houses, so maybe... Maybe I want to use this Pioneer to re-roll these three dice. Let's do it. Kick over the dice to a red cam. Gotcha. No, just the red cam only, right? The big one? Can we have that? Yeah. There we go. Gold in those hills. Yeah, it's a much better, that's a much better roll. Why is that staying on there? There we go. That's cool. Me. Oh, I thought like, don't mind us guys. We're like literally, I mean, I've played with it, but not produced. So we're what, eight days, nine days into this. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what I'm left with. I can spend resources to turn any die to any side. Explore can be used to settle. I'm just kind of looking at some of these. If I can see what your options are. Well, yeah, because if I can get another, well, to be honest, what in the world? If I can get some of these um, things going, like this, once per round, just gain two pioneer icons. What do I have access to right now? Oh, pioneer can be used as, <laughs> as lanterns. I totally forgot about, no, that's him. I have plus one dice quota, okay. Whew, I was about to be sad and mad. Um. Guys, I really don't know what to do here. Uh, I feel like... I feel like spending this pumpkin to turn this into lumber or spending the... I don't want to spend the gold. I can't spend the gold. That's silly. Okay, I'm going to recruit a die. I'm sure of it. So first thing I'm going to do is... First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and harvest. Harvest. Gold and pumpkin. I'm, I'm gonna try to play the long game even though he's trying to steal everything. Yeah. And then he's going to four. Is it a finite amount of victory points or? Yep, 30. Okay. And it's down to 21 and he's got all of them. Uh, one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. He's gonna research. He can afford something that costs iron, land grab exactly what he's getting so he's gonna pay this iron to take land grab um, land grabber then I'm going to research I think I could I can't take land grab um, anything costs one of each manifest destiny oh that takes three lantern icons though one lumber for you know what I think I will I'm gonna research Nice. Spend my lumber on this missionaries. So I will get to use Pioneer Hats as research lanterns. Nice. Use some versatility. Save my 
recruit die. Nah. Save my explore die. Or settle die. Okay. His second action is a three. One, two, three. He's going to settle. All right. This one's pretty easy. Basically say, if you were him, what would you fight me for? He wants to fight me for this nine-pointer. Oh, no. He goes where nobody is first. Four points. Yeah, he's going to want that. So. Um, it would take me a lot of spreading to get there. but Or a lot of flame icons. Okay. We're on to the next round. I draw one die out of the bag. Put the rest in and draw five of them. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. It's time to roll. I think I got that Pioneer hat uh, upgrade. Mm -hmm. It's looking good. Look at that flame, and I saved a flame mm -hmm. last round. This is going to be a strong round, guys. Nice. And I have a raid icon. So I might be doing some interesting stuff here. Uh, this guy. Gets a raid. Uh, settle, iron, and a recruit. Not afraid of that raid. So we gotta go raid. Settle. Gains an iron. Since there's not one in the pot, he puts one in the pot, so this die gets immediately discarded. And a recruit. Oh boy. He might get to recruit two dice. Because you get to recruit two dice for three. And then it takes six dice to recruit three dice. He does take the first turn. Where does gold come from? Can't be mine. It must have been his. I was just sitting here. So, all right. He takes the first action. Yep, it's recruit. Because it's one, two, three. So when you recruit, spend three dice to get two dice. So he, he doesn't have a brown. So he takes that first. He takes a color he doesn't own first. Then he takes the rarest. Got a lot of dice. He's going to be rolling five now per turn. Oof. Because he's got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If he gets an 11th die, he's going to roll six for the rest of the game. Okay. Uh, me. I'm going to spend. No, I'm not going to spend that pumpkin. Am I? No. He took his first action, I'm taking mine, okay. I could really, really hose him here. Um, As you should. Yeah. I half wanna fight him for this nine point tile. Yeah. But he'll get five, like, so I'm only getting four points, so I might as well do here. I'm gonna do my settle action first. I'm gonna settle down. <laughs> What does this factory do? That does a thing. Gain two tenths from the supply to your personal supply. Yep, okay. Hey, good night, Rex. Good night, Rex. Take care. Um, I have four. So here's what I'm gonna do. Start blocking them out here. One. Two. That becomes a house. Two houses now. Three. Intense. Four. Another house. Wow. Do your worst, buddy. <laughs> you got a four. One, two, three, four. So he's going to trade one strength. He gets to trade one thing for two victory points. So he's got nine, so that takes him to 11. To see how they are powerful, like he's got his victory points here. 
Is he playing with special rules or oh, yes. everything he's doing? Oh yes. Okay. No, no, if I could trade these for two victory points all day. <laughs> um, so for trading for me, if I trade three matching, I'll get six victory points. Yeah. If I trade three different, I get five. And if I discard any two of any, I get two. So my next action. Oh man. I should have raided first. But I will raid now. I'll take this die here and swap one of his houses for mine. Nice. If I can raid again next turn. Oh man, it's yours. So I will discard this and save that die. His second action. Oh wait, that was his. Yeah, he had a second action. That was my second action. Yep. So now I'm gonna go. This die. Woo -hoo. Uh, I got six, so one, two, three, four, five. Here they come. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this guy rolls, we've talked about five dice, right? Yep. Wow. I love it. I love seeing multiples because it doesn't give them one strong action. So I gotta place this one here, this one here, this one. Whoa, whoa, his rating is strong. But raiding is strong with this one. <laughs> if he raids, I am hosed. Because he can take all of these away oh, no. and make his house. Yeah. Uh, he generates an, um, this. Your first action or do you? I do. Okay. But I don't have a raid. But I do have a, a thing I can set anything to it, but I don't have a die with raid on it. I don't have a gray out here and I don't have an orange out here. Shoot. Anyway, this thing goes here. But he's far away from that. One, two, three, four, five. I have to get a six for him to raid. So we'll wait, because I can't know his action yet. I'm, I can't take my turn based on his. Okay, but seeing that, seeing that definitely makes me want to alter some things. I'm going to go ahead and use my lumber to change a die to any side. Change this yellow to a settle. No, I'm gonna keep, yes, yes, I'm doing that. And then, then that's it, then that's it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so my first action is settle, three strength. One, put this here. Two, put this here. Three, take his back and a house. Is that four or three you have? I had four, but I have to have three more than them. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. gotcha. And then for this last settle, I'll start to fight him for this. Because now I can through this path. Yeah. All right. If he gets a six, well, his rating won't do him much good. But we'll see. He got a two anyway. One, two. He's going to recruit it. Another gray die. Whatever you say, buddy. He's hate He's hate drafting. Does he have 11 points in? 11 dice. Out uh, of uh, victory points? I, both 11 dice and 11 victory points. No. Um, okay, I think I think I'm good to do a double. Ex well, with a plan, I'm going to trade. Trade. For each trade spent, I can pitch three of the same resource. And I'm going to pitch three gold, six victory points. Try to bridge that gap a little bit too. And save an explore icon. He's going to. Floor. Yeah. 
one, two. So he's going to take one tile and one victory point. And he's going to place this tile. Ooh, wow. He wants to get away from me, but he really can't because I'm spreading. So he puts a guy, but I get to put a guy. And in response, he gets to put one more guy. This is a six point tile. Um, so hopefully I roll a lot of flame on my next turn and <laughs> yeah. do it up. All right, he's gonna roll six dice. One, two, oops, these go back here. Because they were before he recruited. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. Wow. I've never had him get that many dice. Really? Mm -mm. That is a lot of iron. <laughs> I'm not sad about this. So we'll deal with his in a moment. I'll roll mine. One. See, since I have him cut off, he has to go here with a tent, then here, then he can go here. Six. When he hasn't he hasn't settled, so that is a good uh, I think that's a good roll. Yep, I have two pumpkins left, and I got another pumpkin and a trade. Oh yeah, the third pumpkin. Yep. Trade goes in for six more gold. Yep. Besides those thirty victory points, is there any other way to get more victory points? Oh, yeah. Like on the tiles, there's victory points. Okay. And on these, there are victory points. Okay. And you have, for every two dice owned, you get three victory points. Okay. Um, so there's that. Yeah. This is kind of looking favorable. Yeah. yeah. I don't see him winning much of anything. So let's see. He generated, wow, a lot of goods. Um, and a recruit. No. So he generated um, three iron, a pumpkin, and a wood. So it goes around this, 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 this. this. Yeah. But hey, he doesn't get victory points for those things. No? Well, it depends on the action, but yeah, pretty much not. Okay. This. There. Yeah. So am I going, I'm going first. Yay! I believe. Um, so yeah, I'll take the trade action, no, not the trade action, the harvest action. And I'm going to use Hmm. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use these two. Get a pumpkin and an iron. Mm -hmm. And that's my harvest action. Oh, and a wood. I didn't just now saw that. So when you harvest, you get to get all your resources. Oh, okay. Now he's going to three, one, two, three. Oh, he's rating for four. Two there. Two there. He's probably going to take that. One victory point if it has any remaining strength. Okay, good. So he's only going to get one victory point. He's going to kick me off here, but that gives him the house. And then he gets one victory point for having one strength left. I thought it was one VP for every remaining strength left. Ooh. That would have been three more VP. Yeah, but he did just get a seven point swing on me. He got six for this outright. But not to worry. I'm going to use strength two trade action. Two hats allow for any one action or strength. So I'm going to trade and trade. Mm -hmm. um, wait a minute. Pioneer hats can be used as lanterns. Uh, 
I might want to get this card here for two victory points. Oh, yeah? Or for four victory points. Or, no, this is six. This is going to be, this is going to be nine victory points. So, because it's, it's getting close to the end of the game. Yeah. Um, yeah, start trading it. Oh, yeah. Points. I'm going to take ten of it right now. Almost. Okay, so first I'm going to trade one strength, three pumpkin. Okay. That gives me six victory points. Nice. Now let's break this into two fives. So six victory points. This second trade, I'm going to purge my dice bag of this white one for three victory points. Ooh. You want to play that game, Dice and Ear? <laughs> Probably not happy I did that. Two. One, two. He's going to trade. Strength two, mm -hmm. so he gets strength. Um, so he's gonna get three victory points. So one, two, and he does pull one from the box. That's the game. So now we gotta do some arithmeticking. Can you grab that pen right now? That I can. Let's do it. So W is for me. Do you want to put that on, on his cam? Well, I got it. Oh, you got it. Okay, cool. Just do it, do it afterwards. Yep. Um, so points on the board. I have four, eight, plus five is 13, plus nine is 22. Oh, 22 plus three. I believe I get three. It's 25. The D gets six, uh, 11, and four is 15. From these, I get one, he gets two. For every two dice, well, I just purged one. It's all right. Um, but I get three for every Purge two dice, three, three six, nine. Two. Yeah, so nine points there. He has uh, three, six, nine, 12, 13, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Mm. All right, houses. If you have one, it's one. If you have four, it's 16. Yeah. And then points. 15, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Twenty-six and nine is thirty-five. Fifty-one, sixty-six for me. Seventeen, twenty-nine, thirty, forty-six. <laughs> for the Dyson here, it looks like it looks like that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man, you crushed him. Yeah, such a big difference from the first time I played this. <laughs> um, it did not turn out swell at all. I, I might have that. I might have that scorecard somewhere, but I'm really stoked about that. So that does it for Dice Settlers. Uh, can't wait to get this in on a multiplayer game. We need uh, to add this to a We Play Wednesday because oh, there yeah. are no secret missions. Yeah. There are no hands of cards. Um, just got to, you know, write down what the tiles do or maybe zoom in closer. Yeah. Think about some shots for that. But that's going to wrap up tonight's so uh tonight i want to raid somebody so we're not going to cut the stream we're going to we're going to hop our, our stream over to iheart board games if anybody here 